Previously, we put together a very popular screen printing matrix generator. But now, with the help of Supercolor, we've put together a DTF job pricing calculator. It's gonna be able to calculate the true cost of a job, not just with the cost of the goods, but also with labor and overhead. This is gonna be able to help you be able to hit profit margins and see exactly what you should charge for DTF-based jobs. Take a look down below and you'll be able to download this calculator and we'll walk you through how to use it. Hey, pronouncers, we have got version number one of a guide to be able to price a profitable DTF job. Now this is a breakdown and it requires some customization from you and including your inputs and your characteristics of your shop. Now we're gonna walk through it though. So first of all, you can download this guide um, by filling out the form or clicking the link down below and you'll be able to get a copy of this first version. Now we wanted to make it as simple as possible. The reason is, is this could be infinitely complex. The variables of different heat presses, different types of transfers, and all of that, different types of items and wearables, all this stuff underneath a job could create a very complicated uh, pricing schematic, and we wanted to try to make it as easy to use as possible for this first version. So the first section up above here on row 16, you will see the cost to run a DTF job. Now, any of the yellow fields are gonna be editable and you're gonna to wanna to customize this based on what it means to your shop. So, first off, working hours per week, how many hours per week you work at your shop? About 40 hours, great. Now, the second one, a guesstimate. What percentage of the business's revenue is doing DTF jobs currently? Is it 10%, 5%, 20%, 50%? Put that percentage right in there. The next section is we're gonna talk about overhead. So rent, uh, a lease, a mortgage, whatever it is, drop that in for a monthly overhead. Payroll, utilities, insurance, and so on. We're gonna tally all of those up and that's gonna be summed up down below. And of course you can add more rows, just make sure it sums up down below. Now what you're gonna get here is our shop overhead per minute. So essentially the time spent on a DTF job costs 27 cents per minute. What this is, is adding up all the monthly overhead for the time working for the, just the time working on DTF based jobs, which is this percentage. That's gonna be how much it costs to work on a DTF based job. All right, now let's get into the order. This is the specific order that you're looking at to be able to price and say, hey, what should I charge this? And the, the, these are the fundamentals that's gonna be able to help you create a matrix, but what should I charge for this? And I highly recommend take, you know, maybe three example types of jobs that you get, maybe more common quantities or, or, or number of print locations, and you can use this to create a bit of a guide. So. Here's the job constants. First of all, the front office. How much time on average is spent on a job? Conservatively, right? Between sales, art, maybe some management, you as an owner, your time going into there. I put about 120 minutes and that's about two hours. Because again, we want a conservative average. Maybe it's 60 minutes, maybe it's 30, but drop that in there. All right, now when we're running a job, what is the average pre-press time? average press time and then post press time. Again, this could be a bit different depending on the type of garment here, but we're gonna take Supercolor's um, averages here uh, uh, for a T and drop them in, but you wanna customize that too. Miscellaneous time. So there's a bit of time aligning the shirt, aligning the transfer, um, just extra time that goes into uh, 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 running a job, uh, flipping over if you have to flatten a certain area of the shirt, steaming a shirt out, you know, maybe a more polyester based shirt, all of that you're going to want to put in there. And then lastly, employee utilization. How effective are, or I'm sorry, how efficient are your production employees? Another tricky one, people are more efficient in the morning, probably less so towards the end of the day but a good average, 60 to 70% is generally what, what we recommend there. And then what you're gonna get as a calculation is the cost per heat transfer press. So every time you press down, it's 50 cents. 
right? As this example goes based on our inputs. Then you're gonna get a one-time cost, which is this, you could call it almost a setup cost of doing this job. So on for 120 minutes based on our cost of the overhead of the shop, it costs about $32.50 for these specific inputs to set up that job. Now lastly, order inputs. <clears throat> so for an order, let's say the garment cost is $5, you're purchasing, we're gonna assume that you're purchasing these transfers, for, let's say $3 a transfer. Again, this could be different depending on if you're ganging up the items, um, the size of them, and so on. Your desired profit margin for the job, the quantity of items, and print locations. So what you're gonna get at the bottom is the cost to run the job. This is the bare bones cost to run the job, including COGS, cost of goods that you're selling, and your overhead, $512 for this example. Now, the last and final row here is the estimated minimum total sale. Based on the profit margin you want, $732 is what you should be at at a minimum, which obviously you want to be a little bit ahead because things happen. So hopefully you guys found that helpful. We'd love to get more feedback because we want to continue to iterate and improve on this. Thanks for listening.